City officials say lithium ion batteries are to blame for this deadly blaze. One of two fires so far this weekend tied to these batteries. The city has been warning people about them for months, but the warnings did not prevent this latest victim. The flames were so intense, they melted the siding off the building and burned the surveillance cameras to a crisp. A vacate order and boarded up windows at the location on 98th Street and 101st Avenue are the aftermath of a fire that killed a 93-year-old woman on Friday. Now, the FDNY says their fire marshals have determined the cause is a lithium-ion battery. Residents say they warned the city two years ago that the building owned by a computer repair specialist was a fire waiting to happen. For the amount of computers, laptops, and cell phones he had in there, it wasn't just one or two, there was hundreds. I don't know if he went into the e-battery business, but we're assuming he did based on the amount of people that were coming in get things fixed. Maria Rodriguez narrowly escaped by hanging out of a window. Horrible. It was horrible. What do you think? <laughs> It was a horrible feeling. I got my dog. I got my husband. I got my kids. And I'm alive, thank God. Fire officials say a separate three alarm fire on Friday in the Bronx was also caused by a lithium ion battery. This despite numerous efforts by the fire department, city officials, and the mayor to crack down on e-bike violations. In July, members of New York City Small Business Services went door to door to educate business owners in Chinatown and the Lower East Side, offering trainings on the best practices for charging and using the batteries. Mayor Adams is urging New Yorkers to report any lithium ion battery dangers and illegal repair shops to 311. We spoke to a man off camera who declined to comment about the e-bike shop, but tells us he had just stepped out of the office where he worked inside of the building right before the fire began and that he's happy to be alive.